Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just about 1020 in Honolulu, 420 in New York. It is Wednesday, September 28th. 2016 and this is the daily report for gold and silver we have another risk on day with u.s equities really continuing a rally which began yesterday of course we had a opec meeting they came out with agreement again and so that pushed the price of oil up and the u.s equities rally came after that of course that risk on did put pressure on the precious metals specifically gold silver in essence was unchanged but taking a look at gold prices right now down about five dollars we're looking at spot at 1322 the low on the day is 13 18 19 and these lows are important because we did pull profits on our current gold trade today when we look at uh, most active futures contract comex that's at 1325.90 with a low of 1321.10 again that low will be discussed as we pull up our first chart high on the day uh, 1331 so again roughly a ten dollar trading range and it is closing really midpoint of that range on the day now when we look at silver it is fractionally higher actually now trading up 0.44 percent or a total of nine cents at 19.25. Low on the day has been 1897.50 with a high of 19.27. Interesting chart that I do want to look at in silver. We'll get to that to that in a second. Lastly, I want to take a look at um, what we call spot silver at 19.17, and that is trading up about four or five cents on the day. Let's take a look at our first chart. So traders, we did pull profits, uh, small profits, but profits nonetheless, getting in at 1317, that is basis the uh, COMEX December contract, and then getting out today as this market went lower, we had moved our stops just under 1325. Of course, a low today, 1321.10. It did stop us out. We're going to mark ourselves out at 1324. Also, if you recall from yesterday's show, I talked about the fact that you can go ahead and pull profits right where the market is sitting and the market was sitting yesterday at around 1331 I do know that uh, we had quite a few of our subscribers that did pull profits and the rationale behind really jumping that stop to the market yesterday moving the stop up the day before is the fact that we have definitely seen this market move into a, a fairly tight and narrow trading range with a series of tops here at around just shy of 1380 and then we had another Another top here at about 1360 and then the, this top here at about 13 call it uh, 47 or 48 so we have had a series of lower highs and that's disconcerting and we also have had what I'll call a is a flat bottom a flat bottom is simply where you've got these series of lows that are equal so we have had this market as it had been trading up of course it really has had a dynamic move in the market when you consider that it began at the beginning of the year at about 1050 we had a tremendous rally from 1250 up to about excuse me 1050 up to about 1280 the market did come down in a series of retracement steps back to about 1200 and then we had another dynamic rally which took us from 1200 to about 1380 so it was these two rallies here and here that provided us really some strategic trades where we really profited well extremely well of course on this move up here extremely well on this move here now the reason that i bring that up is the last couple of trades we got long in here and we got stopped out with about an eight to ten dollar um profit we entered uh, at thirteen seventeen, so roughly here market came down we got stopped out at thirteen twenty five again for about an eight dollar profit on the trade and the key is this is that our system is really paramount or does best when you have highly trending markets and pretty much any any trend trading system will do that and we try to stay in the market as long as we can when we get into these defined areas where the market is trading choppy in a sense because it's not breaking into a higher high or a lower low so to speak then really what's happening is we are taking profits but we're not taking the kind of profits that we had seen at the beginning of the year nonetheless we will work with the market 
and determine what is the best avenue. And the key is, is to consistently pull profits in the market. And most importantly, it is to be positioned so that when the market does trend, when we do see the market come and break to a new high, that we're sitting with a long position that we got in at the right price point. And that to me is the key. So traders, we took a profit today. That profit amounted to about a eight to eight to 10% gain for a trade lasting under two weeks, a little over a week. And so I feel secure in that we delivered a profitable trade to you. Do Would have I liked to have more profits on this trade? Certainly, but I will take a profit over a loss any day of the week. Nonetheless, we go into the market as of now, uh, flat and we'll, over the next couple of days, I'll talk to you about where I'm looking to re-enter the market. Uh, so traders, we are looking at a daily chart of silver and I do have a couple of trend lines, a compression triangle of sorts. And this actually was a chart sent to me by one of our subscribers, initials uh, DV, and really pointing out to the fact that we have seen, one, a narrowing of range in this market. We have had this series of lower highs. We have had a series of higher lows. And then most importantly, we are absolutely approaching uh, the apex of this compression triangle. Now, typically on something like this, the one thing that we do see is that it has been trading within this range. That range is compressing. And most interesting on this last move down, it did line up precisely, precisely to the, the bottom of this trend line. And it did so, this being a, a daily candlestick, with really either a doji or a hammer. It's a small bodied. I don't know that I'd call it a hammer because the tail isn't long enough, but nonetheless, we are seeing some real critical support in this area. So what does that mean? Well, we will typically get a count to five and then our thrust, our thrust would take us into uh, a breakout to the upside. There would be a release of energy. That release of energy would propel prices much higher, of course. And so what we'll do is I'll work on a count using this compression triangle over the next couple of days. And so really what I'm looking to determine at this point, I agree with our subscriber in that I believe that we have seen the series of lower highs. We have seen the series of higher lows. We're certainly falling within the parameters of the uh, lower support line, as well as the resistance of these this upper uh, resistance line. And that being said, the question is going to be, will we go to this point and then track down and possibly even break down? Or will we see the market actually genuinely break through this market and move to new highs? Interesting interesting idea and an interesting chart observation. So I do thank our subscriber for that. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.